if time could be rewritten. What if we could bring back the wondrous creatures extinction left behind? What if you could run your own prehistoric kingdom? Through the power of genetic technology, biological marvels from a bygone era roam the Earth once more, providing an opportunity to protect, preserve and nurture the ancient past. But it's not just the animals that are looked after. State-of-the-art facilities keep the guests entertained and satisfied throughout their visit to the park. This place is a sanctuary for our planet's rich history, with extinct species of all shapes and sizes. And of course, you can also find some of the cute ones. It reminds me of mine back home. It's crucial we give these beautiful creatures the respect and care they need. we might be the ones facing extinction. Guys, listen. Was that not awesome? I have been seeing this game in my recommended and like jaunty and best in slot um, Evolution Square, she was covering this like a year ago. Swerve was covering this a year ago. And um, it was one of those games where it was always like kind of ticking in the back of my head, but we were going so hardcore with Planet Zoo and all of that. Um, you know, basically a year ago, almost in a month. And um, I think this game really, not just for me, but probably for a lot of you all, really kind of flew under the radar. Um, I, I will say a year ago, it, was, it, it looked a lot jankier than it did now. So maybe that's why it didn't spark as much attention as it has like the last 24 hours. But um, when we got hit with this IGN exclusive early access trailer, I was like, I need this game in my life. Why was I sleeping on this game <laughs> for the last year? And actually, um, Evolution, Evolution Square, she actually watched um, one of the Crytivo uh, developer, um, you know, live streams today when they were going over some of the different, um, some, some of the different characteristics of the game and some decision making of the game. And one thing that she said that they were mentioning on there is everybody saying, uh, comparing the game to Jurassic World Evolution. And those devs said they're flattered by that because the vast differences in the budget. You know, Frontier has got all of this cash and this huge backing. We know they've been backed by Tencent. They, um, you know, they just, they have all of the... Uh, the art direction they had from actual Universal Studios creative and, and um, you know, actual movie assets to go off of in this big giant, you know, um, studio. And these guys are being compared with Jurassic World Evolution and Planet Zoo. And I think that's pretty cool that, that they kind of take it as a compliment. You know, they, uh, I, I just think that if you look at some of the recordings and what were actually being shown and the modular, the piece by piece building systems, I will say this. I think that Prehistoric Kingdom almost sheds the cartoony type vibe that Planet Zoo has. A lot of you guys have reached out even since I posted those screenshots yesterday and were saying, oh my God, uh, S. Dan, my heart almost stopped. I thought that this was a, uh, I thought this was a prehistoric expansion pack for Planet Zoo. So I think that's a testament to 
um, to the guys here that are working on this game, on working on prehistoric kingdom, and um, and, and you know, I just think that, like I said, with the cartoony type of vibe that that Planet Zoo kind of portrays, even though I do think, I, I honestly think Planet Zoo is extremely, extremely charming, but when it's put up with a version that's, you know, almost like a peer, now that we have, we know Prehistoric Kingdom is coming, when you put those side by side, you're like, wow, Planet Zoo really, really is cartoonish. Um, whereas Prehistoric Kingdom, even looking when they're resizing the rocks, hit, uh, focus on resizing, um, it's just so much more, uh, I want to use the word grittier. Um, it's just, it seems like it's just uh, like maybe a little more steeped in that, that grittier detail. The rock actually looks like you know, really gritty rock instead of kind of smoothed over with a nice smooth polished edges. Um, but you know, Planet Zoo did a really good job um, as far as their rock selection goes from Planet Coaster to Planet Zoo. But when I look at Prehistoric Kingdom, it's, it's particularly that trailer, that was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, look how raw that rock looks and how much character it has. And, um, and the fence-by-fence fence placing, I mean, they're even going to have staggered fencing. Um, it's just, I, I just think it's, uh, it's a really interesting title that I really, um, you know, uh, like I said, guys, I'm kind of sorry for not covering it earlier and, and helping build the hype up for it. Um, I just, uh, I am definitely after that trailer, and now I've kind of went back and and binged uh, through some of the dev vlogs. It seems like every month or two, at least every two months, they put out a big roadmap where they're at, what they're trying to do, and um, AI is so, it's like I've it's like I've had this treasure trove of information here that we want from other games, roadmaps, behind the scenes stuff. Just tell us what you're doing, what's happening. And, uh, yeah, totally have been sleeping on it. Um, but nonetheless, we're here now. I'm ready to, I'm ready to join the, uh, join the prehistoric, uh, kingdom here. And, um, there's lots, I think of lots of interesting stuff coming. They're shooting for, it says Q2 2021 release. So definitely we think, uh, hopefully in 2021, um, we will actually be playing prehistoric kingdom, um, square, um, let me see here. Um, Evolution Square, actually, she put out a video, yes, earlier today. And um, as far as animal count goes, I know a lot of you guys are wanting to know that. They were going to start off with 50. Now I believe they've backed it off to 22 animals on the early access launch. Um, it seems like as far as that Twitch uh, stream goes, they kind of just made the decision to go, um, you know, quality over quantity. I think a lot of those other 20 something, 30 animals, they just weren't quite ready yet. Um, but the ones that are ready, like the, the, the woolly mammoth and the, the hairy woolly rhino, um, just they look absolutely incredible. Sabertooth tiger, um, I just tweeted out um, just a little bit ago a couple different variations of the, uh, it's kind of like the Giga, um, let me make sure I'm telling you this right, it is the, I, I found this on a dev vlog too, and you can go check out on my Twitter if you want to see this, it is a Hyenodon Giga, and they also teased a, hy a Hyenodon Horridus, a Horridus, um, really, really beefy, awesome type mammals, huge, powerful jaws, and uh, they just look incredibly, incredibly, insanely detailed. And uh, for a lot of you guys, too, that don't necessarily like, like me, the piece-to-piece -piece little individual buildings, uh, modular, you know, having to put every, every single roof on and all that, um, they are going to have drop and, dr just drop-and-play um, buildings as well. One of the most insanely charming buildings that I've seen so far is the T-Rex Cafe, and they've got it spelled T E A dash rex cafe and like i said i was telling beyond drew and jaunty earlier if 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 we're going to compare planet zoo to prehistoric kingdom i would say i would honestly say prehistoric kingdom seems like a more mature version of jurassic world evil or excuse me of planet zoo and it gives us like i mean not to beat around the bush 
prehistoric kingdom seems like it's going to give us everything we wanted in Jurassic World Evolution and didn't get. I mean, we have aviar we have aviaries, we have birds, we've got, you know, I mean just the piece by piece building, the fence placement, it, the staggered fencing. It is um yeah, like I said, I just I don't want to beat around the bush. It is what that it was what I I mean, I don't want to speak for you guys, but just looking at the trailer and going back and pouring through these dev vlogs, uh, these dev these dev vlogs, um, it's absolutely what we thought Jurassic World Evolution was going to be. Um, so I don't know. It's like we said. I think help, healthy competition is good. Maybe this will really kickstart some ideas in Frontier for Jurassic World Evolution Two. Um, I don't know. I think that's probably still a ways off before that even gets hinted at. But I think competition like this is good. And um, I am really, really excited to see where this goes. I know this first video is, is kind of short. I didn't want to keep you guys here forever, even though Linda says, don't apologize for that. We love sitting back and listening to the videos. But nonetheless, I, uh, I just think in the grand scheme of things, it is a very, very interesting title. It is a very interesting genre. Um, I just think that as far as the developers go, um, hats off to them for trying this with the heavyweight looming out there of Jurassic World Evolution being the, the really only modern, um, the, you know, the modern title to try this. And then Prehistoric Kingdom comes along and says, hold my beer, we're going to try it too. And um, like I said, just the matureness of the whole, of the, of the, of the setup and the animals and the rock work and the buildings and the terrain editor um, it, and, the, and the, the resizing of pieces. Come on, Frontier. We need that. You need to let us resize the pieces, at least resize the rocks. Um, and that that is just, uh, I mean, I, ha I hate to sound like a, a complete nerd, but that is what we're here for. This These nerdy type of detail enabling um, systems and yep yeah, that like I said that is what pumps me up so much about this game and it seems like the developers are tooling this to what the core prehistoric kingdom players are gonna want to utilize and that's what's so cool about it I've all I've said for a while it just seems like when you have these smaller devs like this they just seem more in tuned with the communities and when you get into those larger dev studios it just somewhere in the noise or in the budgets or in the scope of these massive projects, um, it seems like sometimes there can be a disconnect of what we want and what we get. Um, but, you know, like I said, not to say that we aren't a bunch of greedy gamers because you know we are. I'm sure there's going to be, they're going to get a lot of pushback from downsizing the 50 animal roster that was initially planned down to 22. But, you know, it's just one of those things. If they come out and the 22 animals really, really pack a punch, um, you won't hear any complaining from me. And like I said, hats off to them for, for just trying it. And uh, I am definitely going to get subscribed to this. So you guys subscribe to me and we will jump in. And every time I see, I've already got my notifications on all of their stuff now. So as soon as we see anything ping our way, we'll get back. We'll get a video made and get that info pushed out to you guys but yeah i'll put the links for all their stuff down below definitely go check out the website because you have got a treasure a treasure trove of information to go through um as far as this development goes seems like they really started ramping up the roadmaps and stuff like a year ago um and then leading all the way up to the latest one we have is in july and now of course uh 24 hours ago they released the uh the uh, the early access trailer which is i think has a lot of people hyped but anyways guys yeah i'm s dan wolf as always thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me don't forget to check out best in slot even go back and check out jaunty's video from a year ago beyond drew is putting out content over it um evolution square go check her videos out definitely go check out swerve um, and those guys have definitely not jumped on the bandwagon like i have they have been covering this for a while so Definitely some good information on those channels. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Leave me a comment down below with your questions and what you think about Prehistoric Kingdom. See you guys.